If patients get too slow on those medications, then we can add a pacemaker to keep the heart rates up. The nuclear option for heart rate control is to break the wiring system and get one off the shelf. So uh, when we get to this point, I have to tell my patients, hey, your wiring system, the one you were born with, is causing you more problems than it's worth. And I've got one in the closet on the shelf that's better than the one you have now. So we're going to break yours and put this one in. Um, this is a little diagram of the uh, pacemaker. Uh, it goes in under the collarbone, usually on the left side. And you get a little tiny wire that goes down the vein into the, the heart. So this is placed all through a couple of IVs, no open chest surgery. Um, and then a small wire is inserted either through the shoulder or through the leg to zap the connection between the top and bottom chambers so that the pacemaker can take over. And that works really nicely because then we can make the heart rate whatever we want and it doesn't take medications to do that. The big drawback is patients are then dependent on that pacemaker for all their heartbeats.